myself Shweta Shah. I am your instructor for the subject Computer Organization and Architecture. In this subject, we have started Unit 3, that is Assembly Language Programming. In this unit, we are going to see today the topic that is Arithmetic and Logical Operations and Loop Construction. So, let me start with the topic. Here, uh, we will see the arithmetic operation first. In this, we will see the addition of two double precision numbers. Then, uh, we are adding two 32 bit numbers, or you can say processing 32 bit numbers using the 16 bit resistor. That means you are processing the data double the capacity of your resistor. So, at that time, your data is said to be in double precision number format. Okay. So, here our resistors are of 16 bit, but we are processing data of 32 bit so that this is said as a double precision number. Okay. Here we have two numbers uh, that we have stored at four memory location because our number is of 32 bit and storing capacity of memory location is a 16 bit. So, we will require two location for each and every number. Okay, so we have four locations like AHAL and BHBL for storing the content of A and B. Okay, here we can consider A and B resistor are of 32 bit and we are storing its content into four memory locations AH and AL. For A resistor, higher portion of A and lower portion of L. A that is AL and similarly for B that is BH and BL and we are going to store this result at location CH and CL okay higher order 16 bit will be in CH lower order 16 bit will be in CL okay next let me see how we can do the addition operation for this uh, double precision number so for this we have to first add this lower order 16 bit that is AL and BL and we have to store at some location CL and by this addition there is possibility that there is carry is generated okay so if any carry is generated then you have to add this into higher order addition or you can say you have to pass it to the higher order so for that you will do the operation of AH BH plus the previous carry okay and you will store this result at location C H. Okay, so this is the basic operation for your addition of two double precision number. And now let me see how we can design this by using the assembly language programming that we have learned all 25 instruction. Okay, for this we have to first load this number into accumulator, then add this number B L or you can see add the content of location BL, then store that result at location CL, then uh, bring this carry into accumulator, then add this AH, then add this BH into your resistor accumulator. Okay, and after that addition, you have to store this result at location CH. Okay, so let me see how we can uh, design this by using the assembly language programming. So, this is the code. First, we will load this number AL that is stored. Uh, you, you can use this instruction like LDA AL. This instruction will load the location AL contained to the accumulator. Here we have given this location AL, AH, BL, BH, CH, CL. We don't know at which location they are stored. Okay, we have just given the label and we are using this label over here. So, in first instruction, the content of AL location is loaded into accumulator. In second, we have to add this content BL. Okay, so we will use the instruction add BL. Then store this result that is already in the accumulator that you have to store at location CL. So you we will use the uh, instruction STA CL. This will store this content to the CL location. Okay. After that, we have to bring this carry into accumulator. So, for that, first we have to clear the accumulator because at this time, accumulator contains this contain CL. Okay. So, first we have to clear the accumulator. So, we will clear the accumulator by using the instruction CLA. This instruction will clear the contain of accumulator. After that, we will use the CIL instruction that is for circular left shifting okay in this shifting your content of e flag is going to be stored into ls bit uh, as our ls uh, accumulator is already zero and if you shift this to the left side so all bits all zeros are shifted to left but the leftmost bit will be your k and uh, your msb is shifted to the k 
Okay, that is already Z. So, your carry flag by shifting left to side after clearing the accumulator, you will bring this carry, whatever. If it is 0, then your LSB will be 0. If it is 1, then your LSB will be 1. So, that is bring into accumulator. Okay, after that, we will require to add AH and add BH. So, we will use instruction add AH, add BH. And then we will store this result at location CH. So, we will use the instruction STA CH. And to instruct the compiler that our code is completed over here, that we will use the instruction HLT. So, our code is completed over here. And after that, we have store, uh, given the labels. And that label contains your data of AHL, BHBL and your result CH and C. So, by this way, we can do the double precision numbers addition. Okay. Next, let me see how we can do the subtraction of this two double precision numbers. Here, we have AH, AL, BH, BL and result is going to be stored at location CH and CH. That is C. Okay. But as we know, for our digital system, we have not designed any subtractor. But we are doing this subtraction operation by using the adder circuit. And in this adder circuit, we are using the two's complement of the subtract. Okay. So, here if we have to subtract the BL or you can say B resistor from A resistor, that means we have to subtract AL, we have to subtract BL from AL and BH from AH. Okay. So, whatever your substrand, you have to use the two's complement of that substrand and add this into your first number. And after this addition, you have to check for the carry. Okay. If it is generated, then your result is okay. If it is not generated, then you have to take the second time two's complement. Okay. So for this method, we are going to using this uh, simple two's complement method. And in this, we are going to do the two's complement of BL and BH and going to adding this into AL resistor. Okay, so you can see over here that we have AL plus 2's complement of BL and over here AH plus 2's complement of BH with carry. Okay, whatever if carry is generated then we have to pass it. So by this way we can do this subtraction operation. So let me see how we can do this. First we will use the instruction CLE to clear the accumulator. Then we will uh, load the container of BL resistor. Uh, then to find out the 2's complement, we have to first do the 1's complement and then add 1 to it. Okay, So that we can do the uh, 2's complement of your number. Then we will increment the contain by 1. That is our 2's complement. By complementing we are getting 1's complement. By incrementing we are getting 2's complement. After getting 2's complement, we have to add this AL into this 2's complement of PL. Then our result is we have to store it to the location CL. At right now, after addition, our result is at accumulator. Then we have to store it to the location CL. We will use the instruction at STA CL. Okay, so this is our uh, storing of first number. After that, we will first second time clear the accumulator. After clearing the accumulator, we will circularly shift left so that our carry is going to be stored into resistor A okay by this uh, we can store our carry into resistor A as we have done in the previous example. So after that carry is our our carry is in the accumulator right now and we will store this into the temporary location. We are doing this storing temp at temporary location because we have to first do the two's complement of BH. And for that, we have to first bring this into accumulator, then find out the complement, then add one. And then you will get the two's complement of BH that you have to add. Okay. If you don't want to add, uh, store this temporary number, then you have to store the two's complement of BH at temporary location. Okay. Uh, so, we are here storing this uh, carry into temporary location. If it is one, uh, carry flag is one, then your one is going to be stored. If it is zero, then zero is going to be stored. Okay. So, up to here, you have stored your carry. After this, we have to do what? Two's complement of B resistor and then add into AH, then add the carry flag that we have stored at temporary location. And then store this whole result into CH location. So, for this, first we will do the 2's complement of BH. 
For that, we have to first load this number at accumulator, then complement that and add one. This is your two's complement of that BH location. Okay. Then we have to add AH and add temporary location that stores your K. Okay. And now your result is stored into accumulator of this addition, second addition, or you can say second subtraction. We have to store this result at location CH. So for that we are using the instruction STA CH. Okay. Then we will use the instruction HLT to instruct the assembler that our code is completed. And after that we will use this temporary location TEM or CH and CL uh, where you can store your location. Here uh, AH, AL, BH, VL also are uh, given the label but here not shown. Okay, so after 18, 19, 20, 21, that all location will contain AH, AL, BH, BL, CH, CL and so on. Okay, so by this way you can do the uh, subtraction of these two double precision number. Next, let me see the some logical operation. In this logical operation, let me want to do the ORing operation. But we know that we have just instruction for the ending operation. Okay. Because we don't have ORA instruction, we have just A and D instruction in our instruction set. So that means we have to do this ORing operation by means of using OR ending. Okay? As we know by De Morgan's law, A or B's complement is equals to A complement and B complement. Okay? So we know that we have instruction for complement and ending. So we will re we can represent this ending operation as A or B is equals to A dash and B dash and then its complement. Okay. So first we have to bring this number A, then complement it, then store it to some location, then bring this number from B location, then complement it, then store it some location, or do the ending with the first number that you have stored at from temporary location, and then you. Have then you have to do this, uh, you have to store this complement of this result. Okay. So let me see how we can uh, do this by using the instruction. First, we will start with location 100. That means we are starting, uh, we are storing our program at location 100. In previous two examples, we have not used this instruction, but we can use this instruction. Okay. Uh, then we will load the first number. And here uh, we have given this locations also. Add AD to store its complement, B to store the number B and uh, its complement by B, E. Okay. Or you can say R, E, S result for storing your. Then we can use this R, E, E, S location to store your result. First we will load this number A, then complement it and store it location A. That is your complement of A. Then we will load the second number and then complement it that is your B dash then we have to do this ending operation of this complemented number B and the location AD that where you have stored the complement of A okay then we will do this ending operation and then endings complement okay after ending we have to do this complement of that number after ending we have to do this complement of that number and then you have to store this uh, to result to the location RES, we will use the instruction STA, RES and then after that HLT and after that you have stored this location. There is possibility that you don't know at which location you have given this label A, A, D, B, R, E, S. That is optional. Okay. If you don't know this location, you can skip this location. Okay. But in instruction, you will write this numbers so that you can say that these are written in the sequence. So this is our ORing operation. Next, let me see another example of XORing. Okay, uh, here if you want to do the XORing of two numbers X and Y, then we know that XORing can be performed as a X Y dash and ORing of X dash Y, or you can say X Y dash plus X dash Y. But here also we have ORing operation, but we know that we doesn't have the instruction for ORing. So we have to use this ending operation that we have used in the previous example for doing this ORing operation. That means complement the operands and then uh, do ending operation and then complement second then. Okay, that is A plus B is equals to A dash into B dash into whole dash, you can say. Okay.
so let me see how we can do this for this we have to first load the number y then complement this number y and uh, then end this with x that is our x y dash operation load the number y complement the number y and then end it with the x number okay and for that result we have to do second time complement of that number okay that is we that can be done by cm instruction and then store it to the temporary location so over that much of task is completed that we have done x y dash whole dash okay then second time we have to do the complement of x next we will do the complement of first we will load the number x then we will do the complement of that number then we will do the ending with y location that is our x dash y task is completed then we will complement it then our task x dash y whole dash is complete okay then we will do the ending with this temporary or you can say this contained okay that we have stored at temporary location so we will next do the ending with the temporary location and then do the complement of that number that is ending with temporary and complement that number your result is generated but it is stored at accumulator to store it to the some location z we will use the instruction staz and then hld instruction and after that we have given the labels x y dash where you can store your data okay so by this way you can use this xoring operation by means of using just ending operation okay this is easy task just you have to convert all of your operations into terms of ending okay and by this way you can do xoring operation next let me see shifting operation for shifting we have just two instruction cir and cil and this instructions are for circular shifting right and circular shifting left only okay in this shifting your accumulator and e flat both are shifted left or right but if you want to do the logical shifting in that shifting your contained of accumulator only shifted not with e flat so for that you have to use some another instruction and or you can say combination of instruction for logical shifting from circular shifting you can use this instruction set like first you will clear the e flat and then you will do circular right shifting for a logical right shifting you will first clear the e flag and then circular right shifting because your e flag is already zero then you will shift it then your zero is only bring it to the ms limit for logical shifting left you can use ci cle instruction and then cil so your logical shifting left will be done so by this way we can use this shifting operation or you can say logical shifting by using just simple circular shifting first you have to clear the e flag okay you can use this shifting in your instruction or you can see in your so here we are ending our today's session if you have any query then you can contact